Day two, a painful day for the client. Remove her props, upset her, and provoke her. So I put the sari up the tree. No more Mr. Nice Guy. I want my clothes back. Juice. You know, I thought I was going to have to wait the longest time for the real you to break through. You think a sari is going to change that? Ten hundred saris won't hide that. You'll only succeed in tying a big knot around yourself. Hello. Would you share what you're thinking, please? Hello? Meditating. I was just meditating on the difference between you and Baba. He wears a dress. He lives the way he teaches. And what specifically has he taught you? To do good. To be a good person. And how is that manifesting itself? Are you out there doing good deeds? Paying taxes? You're a cynic. Yes. Yes, I'm a cynic. Because I investigate crap. What about the crap in you, Ruth? Did you take that to the guru? You're a shit. You don't care about me. You don't even know me. And I didn't go to Baba to get my fucked upness fixed. Well, you'd be the first. All right, so I hoped it would help me grow. I know I'm not perfect. Good for us. Yeah. So what do you believe in, then? Why do you want to know that? Because I'm just curious to know what you worked out. So you can follow me? Sorry, honey, that's not my ticket. me. My body is mine, honey. You're a prick. You know you'd be better off crying. Fuck you! I don't want to disempower you. Oh, yeah? If you want disempowerment, you go right back to Mother India. See how they treat women there. Oh, didn't you notice all those little ultrasounds blipping away so people can go in and say, oh my god, it's a girl, and flush her out in a border? They're more honest. Excuse me? They're more honest in their hatred of women. I don't hate women. I love ladies. <laughs> ladies? You wouldn't know any. I bet you date little Barbie dolls, don't you? Oh. You're so brainy. You're so big. Can I suck your dick? <laughs> Can I be alone now? <laughs> 